Have you ever wondered what a typical day in the life looks like for a property developer? Well, in today's video, that's what you're going to see. Cool. We've got a boxing session, and then we're going to go and check on four of my different HMO social housing projects, make sure everything's on track. We're going to catch up with the build teams, and I'm going to catch up with my other teams as well. So guys, I'll bring you along with me. Stay tuned. So the first thing today is training, super important. I like to take my health and my fitness very seriously. Only thing is I just come out hungry. That's the problem. <laughs> but hey, I'll get there guys, I'll get there. This is actually in a private gym with an ex-professional boxer who trains professional fighters. January right now so we're obviously pumped up it's the end of Jan and feeling motivated for this year this year is all about smashing my goals reaching my targets and making sure doing everything I can do to hit my goals so one of my main goals is to get 40 properties by the end of this year so if anyone's got a deal direct to landlord deal in Nottingham if you know anyone that's selling their property let me know guys because I need more houses to buy Okay, so guys, we're here with Ryan Amos. Um, for those of you that don't know, Ryan is a professional boxer. He's had a 14 professional fights, guys. Ryan, have you got any fights coming up? We're traveling to Bolton for a Commonwealth um, Eliminator, so it's gonna be 10, um, 10 rounds. So guys, this is a big fight. I'm gonna be there, it's March the 2nd. If you wanna grab your ticket, drop Ryan a message. This Instagram's right here. And Ryan, just a quick question. What tips would you give people that wanna get into boxing, um, they might be brand new, beginner, what would be your top tips for people? I'll just say eliminate all fears, because like, even like the likes of myself, we came, when we started boxing, we didn't know what to do, you know what I mean, let's start yeah. from the ground up and go, so just expect the unexpected and just have, try your best to not have any fear and just go in and give it a go, because yeah. a lot of people think that they need to get fit first before they come to the boxing gym. Um, Ryan, thank you man, yeah, we appreciate God it. Bless you. So right now, we're gonna head over to three of my different projects. Um, I basically need to check on the progress because my build teams weren't paying. So I need to go there, check on the works before I can release payment. So let's go ahead and check those out. So pessimistic way. Yeah. What's your thoughts? I think you should go for it, man. I feel like it's a good purchase price. Okay guys, so we've just pulled up at one of my projects. This one here is finished, it's fully finished, and I'm coming here to check the snagging. So guys, this property here, I purchased it for 87,000 pounds, and I've spent 45,000 pounds on the full renovation. It's now a four bedroom HMO. It's gonna be producing around 1,200 pounds net profit per month. So guys, this is the living area. Now, this was definitely the most crusty property that I've bought. So we, that's why we've had to spend 45,000 pounds on a full renovation. We needed to plaster the whole property throughout, change all the doors to fire doors, put a brand new kitchen in, a brand new bathroom. We've literally done everything. We haven't gone high level. If we went high level, it probably would have cost around 60,000, but we went social housing level, so we went for them. Decent flooring, basic sofas, basic table and chair setup. So guys, this is bedroom number one. We actually purchased this property on a 90% bridge. So 90% bridge basically means that we didn't have to put down much deposit at all. We only had to put down 8,700 pounds, which was crazy. But once you've paid the interest for the bridge, you have to put in a bit more. But essentially 90% bridge on this one here, and then we'll be refinancing it on a 65% loan to value bridge. Right, this is bedroom number one. Let me show you the rest of the property. It's 
So guys, this is the kitchen. Um, we just went for a basic Howdings kitchen. I'm happy with it, guys. I think it looks great. I'm happy with this property. We did this full renovation in six weeks, guys. But what I need to do now, guys, is I need to look around and check for any snagging in this property. So I'm gonna crack on and do that. Um, and I'll tell you if I find anything. The door gap just needs to be sorted. Yeah, cool. This property is ready to be handed over to the social housing providers. So next steps from here, I get my build team to come out, do a few small changes. I'll get that change implemented. Then we've got the fire risk assessment that's happening. So the social housing provider, they organize the fire risk assessment. As soon as they come out, they'll let us know if they want any changes. If they're happy, we'll go ahead and they'll take on the property and then we start getting paid every single month. So right now guys, I'm just sending all the footage that we just took to the build team. The process looks like this guys. I go there, I will hold a payment of say 3,000 pounds. I'll go there, I'll make sure that everything is done before we release that final 3,000 pounds payment to the build team. So today, we've just checked for all the snagging. There's a few little bits I need them to do. As soon as that's done, I release the final payment and they get all paid off. Let's go and check out the next project. Okay guys, so we're just about to go and check out the second project. Um, I just need to basically check on the works before I release the next payment. All my guys are hard at work, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what they're up to. We're in the project. Guys are out here working hard, 5 p.m. Guys are still at it. It's looking good, guys. We've got the emergency lighting in here. This is gonna be a bedroom, guys. Avengers poster stayed up, nice. This property needs full replastering, so Lots of work to be done on this property, guys. We only got the keys for this one a month ago, but obviously we had to get a quote agreed. The build team are in here now. They started the works around a week and a half ago. So they've made a lot of progress to say like some of the door frames are already in already. Some of the fire doors are in as well, as you can see. So they're definitely making good progress. I'm happy with the progress so far. We purchased this property for 110,000 pounds and we're going to be spending around 45,000 pounds on it. So we purchased this property thinking we was gonna do a five bed HMO with it, but we actually worked out a way to do six bed. So we're gonna do a six bedroom HMO with this property, which is great because it means more profit and a better end file. So it's gonna be worth more when it's done. So happy days, guys. Okay guys, that's it for my day in the life. Right now, I'm about to go to the spa, get some relaxed time. So guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. See you all for my next video.